Hey, good Fox here. Today I got a review of Flashback Julian Edelman's 90 overall card. He's 5'10", so a little on the short side for a receiver, so I'm going to stick him at my number 3 receiver. Uh, but I will sub him in for run blocking. At 74 run blocking, it's, I don't know, inconsistent it feels with his run blocking at 74. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that in a little bit. Let's go through the rest of the stats while we have him on screen. 85 speed. Ouch. For a short wide receiver, that's really tough to, to deal with. Catching 90, which is really nice. Uh, 90 threshold, that re Rex said, uh, is 100% catching. We'll see if that actually... That, I haven't seen that tested. We'll see if that's a, 80, uh, a thing. 84 elusiveness, 86 spec, 87 release, 92 route running, which is really nice. 89 catching traffic, and 80 jump. So, right off the bat, you can tell he is not a guy that's going to go up and get it for you. Uh, he, he is basically a crisp route runner. You're going to want to go on uh, you know, corner routes post routes, slants, and drags, he's not good at drags, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run him a lot on drags, but basically because of his lack of speed, he's not that good on drags, drags only need speed, he doesn't have it, 85 speed is poor for a wide receiver, uh, let's talk about the run block that I was, uh, I don't want to forget about that, 74 run block, it feels like it, it should be amazing, he should lock his guy up, but I'm frequently seeing him on like inside zones and, and trips formations and even like, you know, whatever other run block, he, he, he would get, uh, uh, I just watched that play. I'm very disappointed. We'll get to that in a second. He would get shedded pretty easily. Um, so, although it says 74, it's not the greatest. Now, right there, I think, is Edelman's speed. The previous play was Edelman's height being exposed. W with a better speed player, they get to that spot faster. Now, I know route running helps get to spots quickly because you can lose man coverage. But how often do you face man coverage in this game? Uh, not too frequently. He's great on those out routes. Those quick breaking out routes, quick breaking corners. There, But, but to get to a spot, Madden, Madden's a game that's 100% timing based uh, okay maybe not 100% but it's very much timing based and to be able to get to a spot on a, on a time before a pass rush can get home to get to it quicker is is so important that's why I think somebody like a John Ross would be a better slot even though it doesn't have the same you know catching or whatnot or, or some of the other quicker smaller uh, faster guys uh, Tyreek Hill some of them would be much better than this Edelman while he, he played well for me he caught enough you know had pretty decent uh, catching catching traffic still drops the ball like that you see right there um, you saw earlier with the high point pass that I just overthrew him that I think a regular, um, I don't know, an Alshon Jeffrey would get to. This guy's going for 145 so not terrible for the price, but still kind of pricey when you get somebody that's going to perform almost as well for a fraction of the cost. Like like I said, a John Ross with the 91 speed can really get up and go. Um, you also have the J.J. Nelson types. Like this one, like I, the pass rush, pass rush almost got to me. Um, maybe that's just because he got hung up a little bit there, but here it is, Edelman. He's okay. I wouldn't I wouldn't go out and use him as a main part of your scheme, but I, I did kind of like him. I'm going to give him an 8.2. Thanks for watching. Call the action. I'll see you tomorrow.